I'm Matt. I'm Shane. And you are about to listen to an excerpt from a Comic Movie Marks podcast. So if you like what you hear, make sure you hit that like button real hard. And make sure you subscribe to Comic Movie Marks. And always remember, if Trailer Trash can do it, anyone can do it. So now we're going to get in some Marvel news. This is going to consist of some uh, MCU news with some outside of MCU Marvel news. We got some Venom news because this was number one on my most anticipated movies of 2018. Oh, yeah. We, we got Tom Hardy had to delete. A post that supports carnage rumors. Again, this is all take with a grain of salt. It's got to be a different fucking phrasing. I'm tired of saying that. <laughs> take I, it with a slice of butter. I don't know. Take it with <laughs> Where does... Uh, hold on. Do we have time for me to look up the origin of take it with a grain of salt? Yeah, sure. I'll do some of the Venom news here. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> Go for it. It's probably going to be some stupid shit from fucking England and... Like, oh, because they had, their food sucks so much ass, we had to put salt on everything. So take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> All right, so the, the, this this says, according to Grain of Salt with Wikipedia. <laughs> it says, with a grain of salt or a pinch of salt is an idiom of the English language, which means to view something with skepticism or not interpret something literally. Yeah, no shit. All right, so this is his history. Here we go. Hypothesis is... Hypo- hypotheses <laughs> of the phrase's origin include Pliny the Elder's Naturalis Historia regarding the discovery of a recipe for an antidote to a poison. The antidote, <laughs> one of the ingredients was a grain of salt. Threats involving the poison were thus to be taken with a grain of salt and therefore less seriously. <laughs> That'll do, Piggly. That'll do. All right. <laughs> wow, that was super underwhelming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So they were like really talking was. about oh, wait, poison there, propaganda? Yeah, there's an alternative account says that the Roman general Pompey believed he could make himself immune to poison by ingesting small amounts of various poisons. And he took this treatment with a grain of salt to help him swallow the poison. In this version, the salt is not the antidote. It was taken merely to assist swallowing the poison. So, so you had the seasoning. Use so, so to take it with a grain of salt means it's like poison. It's poisonous news, and you're taking, you're consuming that with a grain of salt. Yeah. So that it goes that down. That actually easier. makes a lot of sense it, for clickbait. It does. Yes. Yeah. Wow. See, you learn something new on Comic Movie Mark's podcast. Yeah, that's probably wrong. <laughs> Grain of Salt Wikipedia. (laughs) Well, it's from Grain of Salt Wikipedia, so it's true. We know that. On the internet. (laughs) To be able to digest his poison, he had to fucking (laughs) take a little bit of salt with it, you know? Not paprika or anything. What about the phrase finder? Phrases.org.uk says, The idea comes from the fact that food is more easily swallowed if taken with a small amount of salt. Plinly, the elder, translated the ancient antidote for poison with the words, Be taken fasting. Plus a grain of salt. All right. So to consume poison. Wow. Okay. <laughs> fascinating. <laughs> Very fascinating. Oh, man. So anyway, Tom Hardy recently deleted a post on his Instagram supporting some of those carnage, carnage rumors. Basically, he had a fan art of Venom versus Carnage on his Instagram, and it was deleted. Dun, dun, dun. I love the investigative work that goes into a lot of these posts. Like, the, some stuff we're, we're not going to get into on this episode, but regarding a Zack Snyder cut, the, anything that pops up like, oh, someone such and such liked this post, or, you know, like, that that, that confirms, yes. You know, it's It cracks me up. Yeah. According to Comic Book, a recently deleted post from Tom Hardy might confirm fans' hopes about the film. Hardy took a uh, Hardy took to social media to spotlight a piece of Carnage and Venom fan art. While eventually deleted the post from social media, it has stoked the fire of speculation thanks to eagle-eyed fans who put together that <laughs> the first official still has an Easter egg about the life foundation of their five symbiotes. The five symbiotes are a major part of the Venom comic book storyline, lethal protector, the basis for the film. All right. Whoop de doo. Next news. We have <laughs> more Venom news. Venom possibly going to have What the fuck was that advertisement? It just disappeared though. That looked like gay anime guys swallowing a pink dildo. <laughs> it might have been. 
Based on what you watch on your phone, it might have been. <laughs> Don't judge. I'm trying to find that picture now because I want to know what the hell that was. It disappeared, though. Anyway, so according to some random jackasses, the Venom movie is rumored to include Tom Holland's Spider-Man. All right, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, it is from two jackasses. Oh, God damn it. I meant to bring this up beforehand. So uh, uh, take this poison with a grain of salt <laughs> because this is who it's coming from. Okay. Oh, man. I, fuck. Now I forgot who this was coming from. I shouldn't even bother to read this. So Christian Harloff, head of development for Collider Video, tweeted oh. Collider Video host John Schnepp dropped the scoop on Collider Movie Talk that Holland Spider-Man will, in fact, appear in Sony's Venom movie. The episode of Collider Movie Talk in which Schnepp says this has not yet been released. However, and even still, the, the revelation should be taken as a rumor with a grain of salt until Holy the further fuck. confirmation is provided. So, what do we think of Holland's Spider-Man in the Venom movie? I don't think it'll work. This is the only possible way I could think of is if it's... If if they do this as such an alt world thing because it's supposedly rated R and it's obviously not part of the MCU and everything, if it's so alt world, they could possibly make Holland look older, and it could be a flashback to Venom's origins. Make him look older, like he's ten years older. Okay. Have him as Spider Man, and like because like the, like what the Flash TV show did a little bit. Like, he could see that the Flash, I don't know how much you ever watched that, but he looked at a newspaper and shit. Mm -hmm. The Flash, this, like, you know, you could just have that older version of right. him. Right. And you could have, you know, dress him up a little bit, make him look older, make him look like an adult now, and not a little kid. <laughs> like, and maybe just have kind of the origins. Like, I'm sure they're going to go back to the original origins of the bell tolling and shit, and he rips the symbiote off, it leaks down on Eddie Brock. Maybe that's what it'll be. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's all it'll be. And then we'll just skip past any possible fight between him. But that's okay. how Eddie Brock acquires the symbiote. Right. That's how I pictured it as a okay. flashback. Uh, okay. I, I could see that working a little bit more. I, that's it. Nothing right. else. Yeah. The the way that, that this kind of spells it out, it almost seems like he's going to be a big part of the movie. And then it's, it's not going to really be a Venom movie at that point. And, you know, like you pointed out, Tom Holland looks like a little child. He obviously plays a high school kid. Yeah. So I I just don't I don't see that working. I don't see crossing him over into... I mean, he he has great acting chops. We saw it in Spider-Man Homecoming, so maybe it does, but you'd really have to darken up that Spider-Man. And then at what point is it a Spider-Man movie and not a Venom movie? I think at best it'd be a flashback. I think what we do is get a flashback of kind of Venom and Venom's origins and how he acquired it, like, you know, when we became Venom, you know, that whole shit. Right. When he keeps saying we are Venom. So, so then that would be a loose version of uh or loosely tying in the venom movie to the mcu yeah but make him look old enough where he's like mm -hmm. 10 or 15 years older right like you could say this tom holland version or this type of peter parker is at least 30 or 35 right and so it happened just, after like infinity yeah, war it, and all this stuff so you have a huge right. gap between any of that shit and all the homecoming movies or whatever that come out in the future right. has this huge gap before they could ever even get into that area. That that actually would be would be pretty smart on on Sony's part because thank you. <laughs> yeah, they they should fucking contribute to the show, <laughs> just like Movie Pass. Yeah, uh, make sure you get your Movie Pass. $10 yeah, a month. Exactly. One point so, five million subscribers. Thanks to the movie market. Exactly. It's perfect. It, where, where's our cut? But it, that would allow Sony to make their own film and not have to be obligated to anything that's tied into the MCU. Yeah, other than Tom Holland. That that would be it. Just say, nope, we're kind of our own thing. But we are loosely tied to the MCU a little bit. We're just 20 years down the road or whatever it is. Maybe not 20, 15. Something to that effect. That's, that's the best way I can think of it. If they try to introduce this version of Spider-Man or have him somehow in it, uh, unless they're going to somehow explain that this is like a, we'll use a Earth Prime 2 or Earth 2 type terminology yeah. for this. Like the multi, the Spider-Verse and shit like that. Unless they're going to try to say it's that. And so like none of that MCU shit's there. Like say all the Avengers are dead and shit like that. They're, that's their world now because all the Avengers are dead and Spider-Man's like one of the only ones left. Mm -hmm. you no know, spoiler for Infinity War. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they all died. <laughs> So maybe they could do that, but I think that would make it too complicated. If you just made them look older, I think it'd be easier and a little bit more acceptable mm -hmm. of what's going on. Because you obviously see him now. He's in high school. He's a sophomore. I think yeah. he was. 
So he's a sophomore in high school. If he looks like he's 35 and he's maybe had a kid and he's paid taxes and shit like that, <laughs> you know, you could tell he, in his face. Yeah, he's been beaten down by life. Maybe receded his hairline a little. <laughs> and then you would know. You would yeah, know, like, exactly. oh, this is a worn out Superman. Exactly. Or whatever his name is, Spider-Man. <laughs> Superhero. Yeah. So other non-MCU Marvel news is the X-Men spinoff New Mutants <sighs> reportedly, or not reportedly, is being pushed back. 10 months from its release date, all the way to February. Yep. But reportedly being made scarier, which that was kind of the opposite of where, what I thought. I actually thought this was honestly kind of a Justice League bullshit. You know, here we go, bringing in DC back into it like we always do. Uh, But, you know. You're going to start a war. (laughs) (laughs) I I thought it was kind of their way of going, oh, no, let's, let's lighten up the tone a little bit let's not make it a horror film because that's what a lot of people horror horror, yeah not a horror film that too (laughs) (laughs) a a horror film (laughs) no we're gonna talk about the horror film later on (laughs) (laughs) um so black widow's getting them right yeah exactly (laughs) (laughs) oh man so yes a horror film uh, it be, that's what that's a, a lot- joke, by the way, on the Black Widow thing. Yes. Oh no. You fucks faces. Yeah, out there. yeah. We're we're about to be just burned at the stake. Yeah. For for that, that vegetarians. Comment. Yeah. <laughs> burned at the stake. Ah. <laughs> uh, zing zing, <laughs> or whatever. Ching <laughs> ching. Yes. That thing. All right. Um. Come on, Andale puto. So yeah, now I lost my train of thought. Okay, cool. Anyway, so <laughs> Zoom means is getting pushed back into 2019. Oh wait, I thought that it was gonna be lighter. And, and that's the reason why I was getting pushed back. But instead, it's going to be scarier. Well, and, that's what they say. Yeah. And see, I don't trust... Reportedly, take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> yeah, take it, your poison with a grain of salt. <laughs> because when studios say they want to make a movie scarier, that doesn't always mean it's actually going to be scary. It means now they made that in jump scares or what they think is scary and which other people do not. And I think a simple psychological horror of people being tortured is pretty scary enough. I don't know what else the fuck you need other than you're going to add in like a hundred jump scares or everything's going to be dark as fuck and you can't see a fucking thing or some shit like that. Or they're going to have some stupid noises. I don't know. But this was my second most anticipated movie of 2018. I was really looking forward to this. And I felt like in some sense on our YouTube page, we had a couple comments by a couple people that actually... Didn't even know what New Mutants was. And like, mm-hmm. is that a comic book movie coming out? Like, I thought it was a horror movie. Right. Uh, Lantern 2814 exactly. said that to me. I'm like, no, nah, dude, it's going to be a fucking psychological horror movie. Yeah, you know? horror movie, yeah. not a horror movie. <laughs> and he, he kind of got on board with that. He's like, oh, that sounds cool. And then another one of our commenters, too, thought it was going to be a TV show. Mm-hmm. He didn't even know what it was. And it kind of made me realize that the marketing for this movie sucks ass, apparently. <laughs> right, yeah. Because some people don't even realize it's a fucking movie. So, according to the Screen Rant article, it basically talks about that the horror genre has gotten off to a good start at the box office with Insidious performing pretty well. The Conjuring is supposed to have a spinoff called The Nun, uh, Halloween franchise (laughs) sequel slash reboot. Um, So, basically, it's what it sounds like is they're making these adjustments to capitalize on that. Who knows how... Again, take it with a grain of salt. It's it, from, from what it from what it sounds like is they are going off of uh, Josh Boone, the uh, co writer and director, describing New Mutants as being a full fledged horror movie, and uh, it's a spin off being as being akin to a haunted house movie. So that that's the way he's describing it. Who knows? So also in that Deadpool got pulled back actually or pushed two weeks earlier now. From June to mid-May now. And then the Gambit movie that I didn't even really know was still really in progress apparently got moved to some other fucking time in 2019. They're just It's going to be like Flash. Just yeah. keep pushing it. Just, just keep, keep pushing, pushing Just keep pretty, pushing I think the director <laughs> just keep pushing <laughs> I think the director just dropped out on Gambit too. So that's... Just, anyway. Just like the Flash. <laughs> yeah, can't get a fucking director and all, all sorts of shit. So, but apparently Deadpool's ideas that what I from what I was trying to read is that they're trying to beat the Han Solo movie out. Oh. But they're going to land 2 weeks after Affinity War. So it's going to be in this hmm. weird pocket. Like I guess it, I guess they thought of it, they looked at it that they have a better chance of going up against Affinity War and just Affinity War instead of Han Solo and Affinity War being in theaters by the time they get in theaters. Interesting. I I kind of I'm 50/50 on that cuz that's Yes, they're comic book. Well, one's a comic book movie and one's Star Wars and stuff, but it's almost not the same audience because Deadpool's right. rated R. Right. 
So uh, you get more of an adult-oriented audience for Deadpool, and the kids are going to go fucking flip out about Han Solo and Infinity War. Yeah, m- maybe there's more people like us that that they're they're trying to make us not decide between Deadpool and Han Solo or whatever, or Avengers, which there's there's no decision. Yeah, I don't know. Avengers. They, they really squeeze Deadpool. Man, they're really... They're really banking on that. I just don't understand why you would move it out of February. Yeah. It seems like to me when certain movies get a niche of a month, like Star Wars, it should just stay in December. They, they've locked that down. Right. And they destroy box office records all the time in December yeah. now. No superhero movie should ever be released in November. We've determined that. <laughs> yeah. Don't ever do that because <laughs> every time it's a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so why wouldn't... In, Deadpool did fucking phenomenal in February of last year. Why wouldn't you just try to meet that February date again? Yeah. I don't know. It just seems really weird. Or if you're going to be able to push it back, push it back to May before Infinity War or early April before any Infinity War. Why put it right in the pocket between Infinity War and Han Solo? It's like being between two balls and just <laughs> <laughs> a terrible like, teabag. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's a rock and a hard place. <laughs> a cock and a hard place. Gotcha. <laughs> so yeah, it, I I don't weird, know. Weird That's... plan there. I feel like Disney is taking over already, and they're just about to sabotage Deadpool. Yeah, let's let's line it There's right my up. Conspiracy theory. <laughs> All right, last little bit of Marvel news. Uh, this one actually related to the MCU. Apparently, now according to the according to Variety, yeah, Variety again. Take it with a grain of salt. Uh, there's going to be a Black Widow movie five years too late, maybe? Yeah, <laughs> yeah pretty much. I, yeah. <laughs> I felt like if you were going to make a Black Widow movie, you should have already banked off of it from Age of Ultron. Like, right. I thought that's actually what they were setting up. Because when in Age of Ultron, when everybody had those visions and shit, Tony had his vision of all the Avengers dying. Thor had his vision of Ragnarok happening, which it was nothing like his vision. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And then Natasha had, like, her flashback or whatever of her kind of origin with, like, those ballet dancers kicking a leg up and mm-hmm. stuff. And, you know, that school or whatever the fuck little tortured sanctum or whatever she was in to become what she was. You know, it kind of feels like they were leading up to that whole thing. Like, they were showing these people's stories and the next phase was going to be these stories explained. They never did that with Black Widow. Right. So I kind of always felt like that was the time. That was probably, her, like, her most popular time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, now now all of a sudden we're getting a Captain Marvel movie. That's gonna be their first like woman lead. <laughs> so it's it's t- yeah, totally random. I don't know why now all of a sudden they're like, oh yeah, sure, we'll do this. Here you go, Scarlet. <laughs> Have fun. I, yeah, I I don't get it. We saw Lucy. We really want that. <laughs> oh yeah, I would too. <laughs> oh, apparently also it's being written by a a woman named. Uh, Hi, Jack, Jake, J A C Schieffer. <laughs> anyway, Jacques. No, that's a woman. Yeah, it's being written by. Okay, Jacques Schieffer. What? Well, what? She's also done uh, time some other fucking random stuff. <laughs> so Mis- comedy. Mister Stash. Oh yeah, Olaf's Frozen Adventure. Nasty Woman. Yeah, perfect for a Black Widow movie. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. So as long as Black Widow fights a snowman. <laughs> Maybe she'll sing it. <laughs> you want to be a snowman? Taser. <laughs> ah, scissor takedown. Yeah, yeah, the triangle scissors, yep. spin, twirl. Exactly. Get the little hurricane uh, rana. What the thing. hell is the fucking wire over the neck thing? Yep. That never works. <laughs> uh, that maybe that. Oh, she'll chop his head off that way. Right through the snow. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that's what we're looking at. It looks like she predominantly does comedies, so... Shocking. <laughs> well, that's not a bad thing or good thing, all right? You don't have to be so negative, Shane. Oh, yeah, of course. The MCU doing comedies. <laughs> Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. You're one of very few <laughs> to make it to the end. Yes, thank you very much. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to Comic Movie Marks Podcast and hit the notification bell. You know, all these fucking YouTube channels say this shit, so I'm going to say it now. Yes, it's perfect. And if you want to hear our full podcast, you can check out our podcast on iTunes or any other podcast subscription service. Make sure you subscribe. Thanks again. Yo!